Bar Mike here from Texas HQ, and I get this John Deere LA145 with this 22 horse Briggs uh, two cylinder motor, and it's uh, not running on one of the cylinders. One is running good, the other one's just skipping for whatever reason. So I've got a feeling that it might have a valve issue. So let's go ahead and open up the valve cover and see what's going on. Just unzip them here with three inch. I can use the drill to get her done. Just to uncover what we got underneath this valve cover. All right, we've got the valve cover open, and oh my gosh, it's got me again. Look at that push rod. That's your intake push rod, that shiny push rod. What that is, that's an aluminum push rod. For some reason, at the Briggs Stratton factory, they decided to make the intake push rods out of aluminum. So as these motors get hot in the summertime or they get a little grass built up underneath that plastic cover, you know, and it doesn't quite cool like it should, these push rods fail. This is a common failure point. I've replaced multiples of these. So anytime I pull out the push rods, I replace these aluminum ones with steel ones. They're only about 10 bucks on Amazon. And you'll see on the exhaust push rod, just pop the, to pull them out. You just pop that little lock nut and unscrew it. You just slide them out of their guide there. And you see that one's darker than this one. That's because the exhaust push rods are all made of steel. So what you do is anytime, even checking the valves, you can just replace these aluminum push rods just with a stock steel one for 10 bucks. I'll leave a link in the part number in the description below. Just wanted to show you guys a common failure point on these Briggs Stratton motors. Uh, it's left me scratch my heads many times till I figured out this little trick from a Briggs Stratton mechanic. So with that, I hope it helped. Uh, this is Mower Mike here. Please subscribe and let's have some more fun and learn some more mower stuff.